And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today we're going to be solving our biggest remaining problems. The two problems we've got are we need more steel, we need more components, and we need more power. That's... Ooh, cargo pods. One second, we'll, we'll solve those in a minute. First, we're going to see what kind of prezzies Randy's giving us today. All right. Um, th thank you, Randy. That is wonderful. We will take that chem fuel and put it to good use. Okay, well, um... Mm, that's not enough to keep us going forever, but what we've been currently running on in terms of power is we have three boom ups. So we had two, and those two boom ups could run four chem fuel generators, and that gave us about four, four, four thousand watts of power, which is a decent amount. Uh, all of the solar power here just goes into running these so sun lamps, so they were not they were a non issue, and we were sort of redlining our entire grid. A little bit unfortunate. However, to expand it out, we needed a couple of things. One is more chem fuel, which we're getting, but we also need that chem fuel for a few other things. So not really great. Oh, and we've also got our hands on precision rifling. Precision rifling, it gives us access to assault rifles. Yes, please. Oh, I'm going to grab shields while we're here. We need a shield belt for luck. They're, they're in too much at risk at the moment. So anyway, currently we have almost no components. We have one component left, which is bad. However, we have Smokey's Caravan on the way home. In terms of items, they're bringing back a whole bunch of components. A uh, shield pack, some insanity, you know, a bunch of random stuff here, but mostly it's the components we're really interested in. With that, we're going to start a few things. One... We're going to put ourselves down a ground penetrating scanner. This will allow us to scan for local deposits of minerals, preferably steel. That's what we're sort of looking for. Then we can stick mining drills on them and extract the steel out. That gives us a sustainable sort of uh, source of steel, which we can use to start churning out mechs. We want to get mechs so that we can, well, find, mine out all of these patches around. We don't want to send our dupes out there or pawns out there because it's really far away and the commute back and forth is just, it's really exhausting in terms of time wasting. But that still gets us to power. For power itself, we're going to go with toxified generators. But don't worry, there's methods of the madness. But in short, we need lots of steel and components to build toxified generators so that we can get more power, so that we can run the necessary ground penetrating radar scanner, which also gives us enough power to build more of our mech gestators and the mech charging stations that we're going to need for them. And we're going to wean ourselves probably off the chem fuel generators. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for today. Sorting out all of our power. Oh, and then leveling up all of our uh, our new kids. These kids need to hit about seven years of age today. We need to get some growth on these. So power-wise, the plan is quite simple. We're going to grab ourselves one of these toxifier generators. And basically, this pollutes the area, but generates a bunch of power while doing it. So this thing, where is it? We will find out exactly what the stats are once it's completed building. Uh, Ryan's now built it. And next terrain pollution in three days. So it generates 1,400 watts but it also turns out pollution at the same time. So, right beside that, we're going to put down a pollution pump. This was introduced with the Biotech DLC, along with the Toxifier Generator. This allows you to suck pollution out of the ground and turn it into waste packs, like these over here. So, we generate power, turn it into waste packs, then we fire the waste packs off the map. It's sort of a way of gener- You know what? Who's coming down here to build this? Seriously? Lunk, you're shearing the alpaca. Okay, it's fine. We'll get someone along to build this in a second, but once that's built, it should start removing the uh, the toxins from the ground. And Ryan, if you would please. And there we go. So, this will absorb complete pollution in the next six hours. I believe the way this works is one of these pollution pumps can deal with the pollution from two toxifier generators simultaneously. So, we're going to give that like about five hours. And assuming it destroys that pollution there, we'll put down a second toxifier generator. And then see how it works out. Oh, Katie started a social fight with Pepper Silly. Well, that's what you get for making a kid bloodlusty. Um, hmm. I suppose we let them fight it out. I mean, they're kids. they got to learn sometime. Left leg destroyed. Well, okay, maybe I should have arrested them. I didn't... What the hell? Your left leg only has 15 hit points. Oof. Shouldn't have picked on Lunk's kid. Lunk's kid is a bit of a monster. Dear Lord. Right, well, that's going to interfere with your learning. Uh, someone want to tend to that leg? Oh my god, do we give them a peg leg now? Uh, damn it. Damn it, where are you? No, I need you to be immediately tending to Katie's, like, right now. Uh, then we're going to have to give him a leg. God damn it, Randy. Well, I suppose it's my fault I let them pick bloodlust, but the other option was super immune, and I thought it would be funnier to have Katie's be bloodlusty. Well... Maybe you should pick less social fights, kid. Thank God you didn't pick it with an adult. You, you'd just be dead. Well, um... Hmm. We're at 95%. I think now is the time to do the op. 
we are going to immediately give you a peg leg. Yep, uh, install peg leg left. Well, you did it to yourself, kid. You did it to yourself. Damon, uh, taking herb and into inventory. Yes, and then you are going to... Yes, install the peg leg. That is excellent. God damn it. Don't mess it up. I would hate for... Accidental kid death to be on our agenda. Okay. One day left. Pepper Seal's doing pretty good. Did you get any decent experience out of that? Your melee didn't even tap... Tap uh, or crack level one. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm going to have to be more careful with those kids, aren't I? Well... Pepper Silly's back up and around. They're a little bit unhappy, but they're going to keep their learning up. They're going off to get some training. Katie's is still sedated, but uh, they should recover shortly. Oh, and on uh, recommendations from the comments, I've put all the kids on a no-drugs policy because they're really small and they can't handle drugs well. Uh, it just seems that's a thing. Uh, let's see. So you can handle two of these, right? So... We'll put a second one there, and that one pollution pump should be able to handle both of these toxifier generators. Right now, you can see there's no pollution on there. There's no pollution at all because the pollution pump has just destroyed it, uh, but I think at some point it spits out the pollution as packs, so we got to take care of that. With this, this means that with 1400 watts from that, 1400 from the other, that's 2800 minus 200, so we got 2600 watts of power out of this. All for just dealing with some waste, which uh, I'm kind of okay with. Uh, finishing at this power section, uh, Peter has broken down in confusion. Turns out our starting pet has now got dementia. Um, like nine. What, what, like, what's the max age of these things? Oh, wow, their life expectancy is actually nine. All right, so they're old and they've got dementia. Uh, Peter, try not to get yourself killed. Some of our pawns are attached to you and it would be embarrassing. Alright, we're going to put a door on this, and since we won't be using this very often... Uh, you know what, let's not use steel, let's just use some limestone, we've got plenty of it lying around. Actually, wood is perfectly fine, and we will stick in an animal sleeping spot. Uh, reason being... Well, our animals... But it stops drop pods from landing in there, so this should be a relatively safe power brick. Okay, now the reason we're stuck doing this is... Well, the only good geothermal vents, like you can check on the map up here in the top right, most of the geothermal vents are really far away from us, and these are worth 3,000 watts of power. But, at the same time, I do want to give these a shot. From what I can tell, they're quite expandable, and as long as you're willing to put up with the waste it produces, it's a nice way to get lots of power, and relatively cheap in a lot of senses. But that gives us a whole bunch more power on the grid. So we can finally start doing this, which is putting in a ground penetrating scanner. So we can stick that uh, right there is fine. So the Grand Penetrating Scanner will allow us to scan all the surrounding area for minerals. If we can get ourselves some more steel, that would be great. Also, is anyone going to gestate that tunneler? Uh, anyone? We have steel, plus steel, four components, and one subcore. Uh, Stalker, what are you doing? Replacing broken components in battery. That's excellent. Not assigned to smithing. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. I installed a new mod. Let's take a little wait till Stalker finishes that. It's called Work Priorities. Uh, I'll, I'll link it in the description. All right, so what you can do is you can do things like, oh, say a plant gut. We can expand it out by control clicking, and it gives you extract trees, prune, was it granulin trees? And cut plants. You can basically really get down into the nitty gritty of what things will do. So if we go down to stalker here and go down to, oh, smithing and all that? What the hell? You can't do smithing? All right, this is going to be mildly confusing, hopefully. Uh, this is smithing. So under smithing, you've got make things at the subcore encoder, uh, make things at the mech gestator, repair mechs, and then you've got make weapons, uh, machining table, and fabricate things. So I've set them to just do the mech stuff. We don't want them fabricating anything. Ryan is much better at that. She's she's far superior. She's a, like a level 20. But only Stalker can do the mech stuff. So now that that's done, Stalker should... Okay, they're going to drink some Psychi tea, because why? Oh yeah, they've got that addiction thing going on. And then they're going to load the resources into the mech gestator, and we can get ourselves a tunneler. Which, yes, that would be nice, thank you very much. Transport pod crash Norton. Okay, paralytic abrasia, jump to location. What? Paralytic abrasia can be cured, he's willing to contribute. Yeah, I don't care. I think best thing for them... Ooh, mining and construction. No, no! We have very strict rules on this, so no. Go away. We topped up our fridge with a few mega slots, and then of course... Well, we got a bunch of rare thrombos showing up. Uh, where are you? Uh, yep, over here. So, a couple of rare thrombos. We can go and add those. What the? Oh, this is on our toxic map. 
Yeah, the toxic map is doing quite well. We have been expanding the toxic cloud out here, though it doesn't really seem to do much. I was expecting this to cause devastating problems, but realistically you could just chuck this on the corner of your map and not worry about it. We might actually try that at some point, but I was just hopeful that would do something. Oh boy, uh, we now have a growth moment for Cowger, which is a problem. You see, you two some bad play on my part, Cowger is not maxed out. They're, they need two more points. However, there might be a way around this. Someone said it, you have 48 hours to choose, so we can actually just wait a little bit of time, and if so long as we pick it before the 48 hours are up, we should be able to actually hit max level, and then we can choose their traits. So we don't necessarily lose out here. We just gotta wait another, well, half a day, and if we wait half a day, we should still be able to hit growth tier 8 and get an extra passion out of this and get to choose from one or two more options when it comes to traits, which is huge. Like, look at the difference here. You get two passions from four options at this level, but if we wait, we get three passions from six options. That's two, like 50% more options and 50% more passions. And the same with the traits. You still only get to choose one trait, but you get to choose it from six options instead of four. That's just too huge. We can't pass it up. So we're going to leave that until they tick over to 162 and hit the, the max growth level, and then we're going to hope. Just hope and pray. Ooh, legendary fur duster. Hmm. Yeah, we're getting a lot of masterworks. Ryan, Ryan, she has been just working out incredibly well. She's currently now working on the, uh, the ground penetrating scanner. So far, we haven't found anything, but I'm hopeful. Combat supplier. Hey, Smokey, I need you to get on the radio right about now. Yeah, Lubricant Combat Supplier. Let's see what they got going on. They do have a Doomsday we can't afford, but that's fine. We'll just take the components. Yeah, we can afford it anyway. Like, components are grand. Also, I'm going to have to expand our drug production. I settled our drugs production slide there when we were getting into the crop section. Oh, I blame it on fear of toxic fallout, but... We'll re-expand our drug production and go into mass money printing. It's just I've kind of got distracted by all these kids. Would you look at that? Cowger has now uh, achieved the maximum number of growth points. That is perfect. So if we pick this now... Oh, god damn it. Hit later? No, we can still only choose two skills for passions. Oh, that is... Uh, I'm so sorry, kid. I really wish I'd have done you better. Well... I've decided that we're going to go with Fast Learner. That is just an incredibly powerful trait. Plus 75% to global learning speed. Hell yeah. Trigger Happy is, you know, tempting, but Fast Learner, just, no, so good. And then we had two choices. We either go Construction and Crafting, which at that point we're going for basically a specialist in crafting, artistry, that kind of stuff. Or we go Mining Medical. I think I want to go Mining Medical. We go Mining Medical, we have someone who can do our mining. We're going to need a lot of that in the future. And at the same time, medical, you can't really hurt on. It doesn't hurt to have a bunch of medical around. So I think that's the way we go. And with those two combined, with Fast Learner combined with... Wait a minute, why don't you have medical? Oh, you can't do medical because you, you can't do it just yet as you're a kid. But their learning speed now on any of their passions is 175%. That is insane. So I think we got a passion on 75% and basic stuff, they get 61%. They're going to be a hell of a smart kid. Well, once they graduate, that could be a while. Also, that, the reason, uh, well, this is one of the reasons we don't let these kids do anything but just a little bit of light cleaning. They do some light cleaning and then the moment their learning drops below 90%, they're right back on doing whatever it is that drives their learning back up again, whether it's cloud watching or getting education or whatever. We want them learning as much as possible because if they mess up and miss some, we, li we lost out on two traits to choose from. Well, we got fast learning, so we're not going to complain, but we lost out on a passion there. We could have had an extra passion. And that's uh, That just hurts because that's never going to go away. That kid's always going to have one passion less because we didn't do it right. No more mistakes. No more. Our first find, completely useless. We got uranium. Where is it? Come on. Where is it? Oh my god, it's all the way over here. Well, that's that's wonderful. God, I've never tried having a base this out of sync with everything else, so we'll see how it works out. Uh, Pollution-wise, I'm kind of getting nervous. It's 10 hours, and this is going to pollute six tiles. That's the case. I probably shouldn't have put it so close to my crops. You know what? We'll find out in a minute. Well, finally, our tunneler is ready to come out and play. Uh, oh, and our shields are done. Let's grab another research while we're in here. I think fabrication. Once we've got fabrication, we can mass-produce our own components. That takes care of another problem for us. So with components and steel renewably sourced, we should be able to just power through to the end game technologies. One thing I really do want to get my hands on though is, where is it, the death rest stuff? 
We couldn't afford it just yet because it requires a lot of steel and components, but getting into that's going to make our vamps just that little bit spicier. Interesting. I was gestating a tunneler here, one of these tunneler mechs for, for mining for us, and I thought it was only going to take about two days. And I thought, well, that's pretty short because the, uh, the builder bots took two days as well. It turns out it takes four gestation cycles of two days to make this. It takes eight days or eight point eight and a half days. That's a long time to make one of these. Uh, that explains some of the other tech that's available that we haven't gotten into yet, but uh, we'll get into that later. For now, hmm. All right, we'll research out fabrication, then it's going to be straight into high tech. Well, probably high tech, high mech tech and ultra mech tech as well. So we're going to have to summon some more bosses. Oh, looks like Muppet has just become a child. Excellent. Uh, they can do a whole bunch of stuff, yet remain tribesmen. Perfect. Oh, and uh, maybe kick you out of the vat. We need, to get, we need to start educating you, you know, making you whatever. What the hell? Simple meals? Vegetarian? Where did we get vegetarian? You know what? Never mind. Uh, you can go grab your gear, and then I'm going to immediately want you to start learning. Now, what's your sleep at? Ugh. Maybe we can get you learning first before you go to sleep, otherwise it's going to mess up your early learning cycles. Well, our larder is looking a little bit bare of animal meat, so I think it's time Lunk did a little bit of culling of the local population. When Lunk goes hunting... Dear lord, that that's not even hunting, that's just murdering stuff. Uh, there is one gazelle still left alive over there that bleeds out in three hours, and another in two. And Lunk did take a few scratches, but most of that stuff was just destroyed fingers and toes he had from earlier. That's insane. That is the fastest way to top up your fridge I've ever discovered. Good job, Lunk. Good job. Oh, we'll set that to hunt. Yeah, if you've ever got an animal that's about to bleed out, just uh, set it to hunt, and then when the time comes, when it actually falls over and dies, it won't have that X on it, so your opponents can come along and go cart it off. That's assuming you don't have any hunters set up. Oh, and it's Lindsay's birthday. I really should have been paying more attention. Lindsay, you've hit seven years of age. Well, you got a growth moment going on, and let's see what you've got access to. Ooh, bloodlust. Fast learner, recluse, trigger happy, too smart, iron willed. It's gotta be fast learner. I mean, Iron Willed is beautiful and all that. Too Smart is just a weaker version of of uh, fast learner. Trigger Happy, I love. Recluse just is a negative, the bigger your colony gets. And Bloodlust, well, we've seen what Bloodlust on kids it does, so fast learner just seems much better. Shooting, yes. Melee, yes. Then after that, we'll decide what you're going into. Hmm. Let's see what your, uh, your stats are. Oh, yeah, your port plants, and that's about it. Hmm. Yeah, we could do with an artist on the team. Why not? It's not like any of your traits are going to hurt against it. You are a bit sleepy, which means... Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll leave you as an artist. A fast-learning artist. Why not? Maybe it'll work out for you. Maybe it won't. Oh, what's your health like? Yeah, yeah, you know, you're good. You're good. Okay, so that's Lindsay done. I think... Yeah, that's Cowgirl done as well. That means Papersil is going to... Ooh, four more days and Papersil gets to choose as well. And they've also maxed out their growth tiers. So the only one I messed up on is Cowgirl, who was the natural birth. Mm. Yeah, they, I think what messed that up was the toxic fallout combined with me locking everyone's side because of animals outside. I kind of messed up their learning quite a bit. Time for Papersil... Sillies? Uh, roll in the sun or day in the sun? Let's see. We got Kind, Trigger Happy, Misogynist, Nimble, Pyromaniac and Brawler. Well, I'm not taking Pyromaniac and no one Brawler. That leaves nimble, oh, not misogynist, uh, trigger happy and kind. Ooh, interesting. Now, Papersil is the child of Lunk. So, as such, they will have slow learning by default. It's just uh, they're, they've got the slow learning gene. It's unfortunate because it's going to affect them quite a bit, but they've also got strong melee damage. So, I'm thinking nimble, and we start to rig these up to be a proper brawler. Nimble is better than a brawler in many ways because. It doesn't increase your melee hit chance, but it does drastically increase your melee dodge chance, which makes you much harder to hit, which gives your survivability a huge boost. Fortunately, we don't have melee showing up here, so... Hmm. I say we rig the kid like their old man. Their old man's good at animals, good at construction, and he's good at plants. Uh, combine that with a few other things. If we can get some, uh, some melee skills on them, that would be nice, but I think plants, construction, and double burning passion in animals will sort them out for now. Problem is that slow learning minus 75% learning factor is... Yeah, nothing really much you can do about that. We'll have to get them a learning enhancer or something at a later date. Our newest shopping spree has yielded some interesting results. Well, one, the Psychic Harmonizer. I have been meaning to get my hands on one of these. So let's go grab one while we're here, along with 42 components. It even nets us a little bit of steel as well. Uh, let's head back home. I think we can find a use for that Psychic Harmonizer, but maybe not today. Oh, great. Another quest has become active. Young drifters require aid. Uh, a group of children are 
four children approaching. They're begging for 70 herbal medicine. Oh, God. You can choose to kill, arrest, organize. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for all the recommendations, Rumor. You know what? I don't think I'm going to kill any of them. Not really motivated. What's the religion? Instead of curiosity, cannibals. Okay. Um. Yeah, I... Let's just pay them to get out of here, maybe. I don't think I want them hanging around. A bunch of cannibal children? You know that's just going to end badly. Finally, we got some steel. That is excellent. Uh, we'll select that and... Yeah, that's close enough, actually. I would prefer if it was a little bit closer, but I think we can run a quick power wire out there. Some people like to make their own little power supplies out there and not run out the wires, but... I just find it's just easier to run the power wires. Pawns can produce wire wi power wires incredibly quickly. So you just sort of run it out like that, and say, send it across. Done, we'll tidy it up when the time comes. But the plan would be, we can drill out all of that steel, and error will be a lot. Each one of that is 300 steel. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 24, 15, you, you get the point. There is so much steel there, and we're going to get more and more of these nodes. The closer we are to our base, the better we might end up changing some of this later on. But for now, say there is good. Once that's done, we'll throw in a mining drill. This will get damaged when people come in and raid, but I'm not really too worried. The odd loss of a little bit of stealing components is not the worst thing in the world. We might even make a little shack here to uh, protect the miner. Well, this quest doesn't look at all suspicious. It's Smelly's Secrets. A six-year-old child named Smelly is calling from nearby. He's begging to join you at uh, Grey Prairie. This is actually our toxic waste tile. Now, fun as it would be to let them wander onto our toxic waste tile and then just let them die, I don't think so. Uh, we don't care. Plus, it's a kid, so no. Uh, I'm, I'm not willing to accept any six-year-olds. I'm sorry, kids. You're going to have to live with your mistakes. All right, this over here is our little hut for our mining. We're just going to go straight into miscellaneous and grab ourselves. Wait, production. Production's where it is. Dear Lord. All right, we'll stick in a mining drill there. In fact, we'll stick in two. Right, you see that radius? That's where it's going to pull from. And that should allow us to get loads and loads of steel. Actually... Mm. Now that I think about it, let's cancel that and move it a little bit closer. What we want is someone not to have to travel miles to get it. So right about there seems good. Yeah, and move the other one over. We'll probably only have one miner for now, but I like to plan ahead. We'll stick those two drills in there. We can power them up. Oh, and give ourselves a spare cable. We want to make sure that we can turn them off remotely so they're not drawing power. And how is our tunneler coming along? In 24 hours, the next gestation cycle will go, and then we'll have one... Uh, so we got about three or four days. That can only go and mine out these, though. It can't mine out the drills, unfortunately, so we're, that robot's job will be to go around and mine out all of the other patches of steel. We're going to need a lot of steel. For mining, we had two choices of who to send over. Sorted by mining speed, we've only really got... basically, Damon. And Stalker. Damon, unfortunately, is massively intellectual, so we need them for the research. And Stalker, which is their next best, they unfortunately have, like, only this in mining. It's not the best, but it's better than everyone else's. Also, their left shoulder has a gunshot injury and they're missing a little toe, but they should still be able to mine at a reasonable speed, and we might be able to improve that even further. Curious, maybe you should put a light in here. That might be an idea. Sticking in a light might help them work at night. Well, on the bright side, the light is making it much easier for Stalker to work in there. We even stuck them in a little bit of a roof. On the Dan side, uh, Puffer Silly and Muppet are having a social fight. I really don't think kids should have social fights where they rip each other's legs off. That seems excessive. Like, that bruise on their arm is, is half the hit points. The problem is the kids are so soft, but their damage is so high. What's your DPS? Uh, okay... 5.74 average of all attacks. All right, that's a problem. Okay, uh, Chewie, we are going to need to imprison them. Uh, it's going to annoy them, but I don't care. Uh, I need to stop them from ripping each other's limbs off. Oh, okay. And at the kid down... Uh, wait, no, it's the wrong kid. This kid. Now let's see what their needs are like. Uh, they... Wait, they're not annoyed that I tried to arrest them? Oh, in restraints. Slowed. Fine. Uh, we will release you. Was imprisoned minus six for 12 days. Well, in all fairness, you were about to get murderized. Uh, Pepper, Pepper sleep slandered Muppet's genitals. This drove Muppet into a rage and she began a fight. Well, okay, that's pretty fair. But you got to remember, Pepper silly has been in a lot of fights so far. That's their second social fight. And they didn't even get a scratch. They are... They're a little bit dangerous. They're, they're definitely Lunk's kid. 
Oh, that's what makes them so dangerous. They've got their 50% strong melee damage bonus. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, remind me not to make them aggressive or give them bloodlust or something. I'm trying to imagine the horrors they would do. Hey, Stalker got eight in mining. Excellent. Well, this is slowly going to grind us out uh, enough steel. I think we, yeah, we've got 45 steel out of that. Now we can start doing other things, like maybe manufacturing ourselves some better guns. Ooh, marriage ceremony. Oh, yeah, I probably should have changed it from this location, but that's okay, that's okay. That just means that... Wait, who did I set up to marry again? It was Ryan and... Oh, Damon. So Ryan and Damon are getting married. They can finally start sharing a bed. Ah, uh, that's going to help with mood. Ooh, it reminds me, actually, I should probably grab another egg from Stalker, and then I can pair her off as well. Eh, dearly beloved, you're gathered here today. Now, uh, let's get this finished. To join this demon and this uh, ancient soldier from... Or ancient genie. Oh, God. On the bright side, they were, they were losing their religion a little bit because I kept them out in here with everyone else and they were getting uh, slowly converted over as people chatted them. So instead, I moved them to this location and now they run the ground penetrating scanner. We're a little bit more isolated, less likely to have chats to people and the religion has remained stable since... Our first assault weapon, and it's a masterwork. Excellent. Uh, give it to the cook, I suppose. They've been stuck with that terrible weapon for ages. And what are you doing at the moment? You're feeding Muppet. Oh, yeah, that's fine. But once you're done, I want you to equip that. More firepower we got, the better. That makes such a huge difference, though. It's just, for those of you who are not familiar, masterwork weapon and uh, legendary weapons, they actually get a damage bonus. So this gets a 25% damage bonus. They're... Anything below masterwork doesn't give you any damage bonuses. This is sort of like a really nice thing. This is why having a masterwork craftsman is just so useful. It's a 25% to 50% damage bonus for your ranged pawns, which is, you know, kind of incredible. I was just there minding my own business when I looked up at the map and I realized there's an awful lot of predators near our base. There is two predators over here. We've got a bear and a wolf. Uh, over here, we've got another bear and... And we've got a warg, and up here we've got another wolf, a timber wolf actually, and over here we've got a lynx. This is where our kids go out and play and do their nature running and sky cloud watching. I, I don't feel comfortable with the bears hanging around that close and all of these predators just casually wandering around. I, I have a strange feeling at some point they will get hungry and maybe they might decide that our kids look tasty. So, no. I'm going to go around and do a big cull. This this is not acceptable. This is not a safe environment for our kids. As if to just, you know, make my prediction come through, it seems like this timber wolf has decided to start hunting Damon. Not one of the kids, one of the adults, which is interesting because there's actually five of them here and they all have guns. This this is your worst hunting decision ever, timber wolf. All right, let's get rid of the last two. I want to make sure our map is nice and clean of uh, any predators that might inconvenience our children. Well, our children are safe, and now we've got fabrication. That means, where is it? Yeah. We can now produce as many components as we want, though it will take an awful lot of labor, and we don't actually have that labor yet. But it does cover that. We need to put down one of those fabrication benches when I remember. Now, next up, I'm thinking mortars. We definitely do have some mortar barrels and we can now pull in enough steel and we should be able to generate enough power and still have enough chem fuel left over. Or is it? Yeah, to make a few mortar shells to go with it. So we can actually get some mortars. I think we'll place them in here. I think like placing our explosive mortars right beside our explosive boomalops. Uh, the other option is actually we could stick them into this section. Oh, I don't want to put my power and my mortars in the same section either. You know what? Yeah, we'll stick the mortars in here. A couple of mortars, let's say about 20 mortar shells, and it'll give us at least a few options if any of those uh, mech, mech clusters show up again with their mortars. Uh, Ryan has created a bearskin duster masterwork. Yeah, Ryan does some good work. Actually, Ryan, we get to make another assault rifle when you get a chance. More assault rifles, the better. Would you look at that? It's like the whole team is studying their little hearts out. We got one of them learning social, one of them learning melee, and the other one learning cooking? Cooking? Ugh, oh, Pappers will know. You'll never be a cook. I am sorry, kid. Some kids can grow up to do anything, but you're a slow learner, and we're not investing you into cooking. You're going to be doing melee, which means you're going to lose your fingers, and having a fingerless cook is just... That's food poisoning all over the place. Anyway, uh, this is this is actually taking up a lot of productivity, having all of our people tied up in that. But it's fine, it's fine. We, we'll get around to the construction later. Ryan, at least, is still churning out assault rifles. We've got one masterwork and two excellent so far. I'm hoping this next one's going to turn out to be a masterwork. Come on, Ryan, roll me a good one. Well, Ryan's been turned out a good one. Yeah, it was literally a good one that time. So he gave me exactly what I asked for, or she gave me exactly what I asked for. 
Uh, pity, but there is one thing we're going to do. Where is it? I picked up a construction. New skill trainer to learn construction. Yes, please. Now, Ryan here only has a construction skill of 9. If we check all the others, the highest is 14 on Stalker and 12 on Lunk. We're not giving it to Lunk for obvious reasons. They won't get a good bonus out of it. And Stalker's already at 14. But Ryan is a construction specialist. So, ooh, 13. Excellent. That means if you would prioritize constructing that wooden poker table, that would be great. They'll get a plus 1 uh, quality bonus to anything they create, so this should be at least good. Give me at least a good one. Come on. And... Masterwork. Well, that was surprising, but that will give us excellent recreational power. And you know what? We might stick on another chair around that. A couple more chairs. Why not? Uh, we'll let Lunk get around to that, though. They don't need to be master quality chairs. The, the recreation power on this is going to be so much better. 140%, a 40% bonus on top of the base value? Damn. Oh, I've been uh, slowly but surely grinding down the walls that used to be the bedrooms and turning this all into one giant room. Uh, it's just... It's nice and impressive, and because everything's on shelves, it cuts down on the amount of clutter. And I think we're going to be expanding at our gestation. Oh, where are you? Uh, you're digging at the deep drill. Okay, I'll... No, I think we need this. I think we want this now. Uh, I can't wait. I really should just let them come back when they're finished their day at work, and, you know, they've done all their stuff. But I want this tunneler now. And here we go. Was it worth the wait? It looks pretty cool. And it's going to go straight... You mean it starts at, whoa, 15 waste to make that? Uh, yeah, time to load this sucker up. Well, it's the best way to get rid of waste. Costs a little bit of steel and components, but those we have in a decent supply. Uh, there we go, 33, yep. Max that out, except we'll go fire that off to our waste tile. I love that our waste disposal is basically flying it to a rubbish heap, and the rubbish heap isn't even on our tile, it's on someone else's. It's someone else's problem. Now, once you've got your poker table up and running, doesn't matter if the chairs are facing it or not, get rid of your game of ore, or your chessboard, whichever one you're using, depending on your faction. Uh, the regular factions get chessboards, the tribals get uh, game of ore. The thing is, it's the exact same recreation type, it's just its recreation power is much lower. It takes much longer for the pawns to get anything out of it. It's 80% for a regular game of ore, it's about... What is it, 140% or 130% for a poker table? And yeah, they all cheat. There's there's nothing like seeing two people playing off against each other with the exact same hand of aces. Yeah, they, they cheat a lot. Three hands of aces, uh, someone's, someone's messing around or playing fast and loose with the rules. Ah, oh, yes, masterwork. Uh, I think we'll start from left to right. So Chewie's already got a masterwork. Uh, this is like, I think, about the fifth or sixth rifle we've made, and we've been kind of unlucky on rolling masterworks. Uh, you, Smokey. Uh, I think it's time you grabbed a Masterwork Rifle. Perfect. And the excellent one we can then rotate in with the kids. The kids, we started arming them up, and we're scrapping all the weapons we don't need. They're getting turned into steel. How much steel we got? We're up to 926 steel. We can finally start doing a few things, like expanding our... Well, we're going to need more components, but we can definitely start expanding things now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Our tunneler has started working. Uh, I've got them drilling out a few bits here to expand our fridge. I wanted a little bit more waste storage. And, uh, well, animal storage, too. Well, we do want to keep a few animals in stockpile, just in case. Nice. This thing's actually pretty fast. This is on double speed at the moment. Okay. Eh, I like. Well, in that case, let's start mining out all of the steel on the map. Uh, you, mine all the connected ores there, and I want you to mine all the connected ores there. Probably take out that chunk just to make things easier. That should give us plenty of steel, at least to start. And uh, that's going to cut down on the, our steel requirements quite substantially. Or it would, unless we get a, a group of wasters from Decay Packers have arrived. They are attacking immediately, they intend to breach your walls, they'll determine their own path. Okay, so they're breachers. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Our wealth really has spiraled, hasn't it? They have tox launchers, which sounds bad. They have grenades, which I don't like. Heavy SMGs, LMGs, chain shotguns, assault guns, molotovs. Oh, what's that? Incendiary launchers, molotovs, and yeah, that's not great. All right, we're going to need to... Hmm. Well, we do have the range on most of them, but the only thing we need to worry about is the assault rifles, of which they have... Ooh, actually, they have a few. We should probably get into cover. I'm thinking here is probably best. Uh, we do have a little bit of a setup that'll control at least the flow. Hmm. No, let me think about this. Let me think about this for a bit. We have zoned all the children inside. Uh, we cancelled the caravan we were making with Smokey, and we've got... Our five shooters lined up here. We got two masterworks, and everyone else has got at least an excellent assault rifle. Is it excellent? Excellent and excellent. Perfect. And we've got Lunk at the rear. They're going to deploy a low shield. We're going to use that to soak damage. 
Now, they do have Tox Spewers, which I am concerned about. But I figure once we deploy the shield, it should help out a bit. Or we can sort of deploy the shield a bit forward. Actually, no. We'll leave the shield exactly where it is. And we'll try and focus down the people with those. On the grenades. Yeah, Tox Spewer guy up front. I would like to capture some of them for genetic material, but I am not in that mood right now. Right now... We're trying to level up all the, uh, what I want to do is get all of these children up to the age of 13. Then we go, then we hire two more children for, well, we get two more children for each ki each person at that point, because at that point, we will have 11 p adults to actually help out. Right now, we just have so few adults compared to children, it's kind of annoying. Okay, that one just got obliterated. Lunk. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, they're starting to take a bead. That is perfect. Now, I want you to actually, hmm. we do have insanity lances and a few other things we could use to our advantage. And I'm thinking, yeah, we have so many of them, might be a time to start burning them. That guy's, Im are you immune? How many of these guys are just immune to this stuff? What the hell? Psychically deaf. Well, that's inconvenient. However, yeah, so give me an insanity lance here. That guy with the auto shotgun is not immune and he's quite close by. Let's see if he can do some damage to some of the locals. Okay. Oof. I do not like that gas. I do not like it in the slightest. Chewy, how you doing on the health front? Tox gas, mild. Yeah, that's affecting sight and range. That is awkward. Oh, Christ. Okay, there is a guy with Molotovs coming up there. Shoot him. Excellent. Uh, that went really well, so far. Can we jump there? Hmm, I don't want to jump just yet, there's still too many people. And right now, how are we looking on the burnout tube? We've got 17 seconds left. Oh. Yeah, that's good killing. Uh, Lunk. Lunk! I'm gonna need you forward, buddy. That guy's trying to get inside the shield. And... Oh, wow. That tux gas is annoying. Like, Chris, they're just toxing up the map. This is new. Okay, that's down. Where do we put that second shield? Damn it, I know I brought a second shield. Burn the second shield. I think we kind of have to do it. Wait, no. How many's left? Ten humans. Wow, that tux gas is a mess. Damn it, I should have been more careful. Let me think. Well, Ryan here has been exposed to... Well, they've got severe tox gas exposure, so we're bringing them back inside. We can't leave them out. Lunk is going to hop over here and start sowing chaos. I can't believe these ones over here. This guy is still standing three hours before he bleeds to death because of Gojuice. This one, four hours before they bleed to death. And look at that, Gojuice depends. They're not actually on Gojuice. They're just, like, still standing, though, missing an entire leg. This one, bleeding out in six hours. Still, not even on Gojuice, just a dependency. These guys just do not go down. That is sort of impressive. Hussars just... Yeah, they're a pain in... They're a pain in the butt to deal with. I think... Yeah, Lunk's gonna hop over here. And then we're going to maybe let those ones bleed out a little bit while we focus down some over here that are standing out in the open. You two, I want you to focus fire that one over there. That one should not be standing anymore. Uh, you two, I want you to focus down... The thing is, more standing out in the open ones would be nice. What's the accuracy on this? Flame guy. Go for the flame guy. I don't really kind of mind those two there. Or these three. They're all going to bleed out before they get off the map. Okay, that's another one. Bites the dust. Excellent. Um, This guy... Yeah, I think you can do with a death from Lunk. Uh, you two. Focus fire that one. You two. Focus fire that one. Yep, we're still ignoring these, but I figure they will bleed out sooner rather than later. Ryan, how you doing? Talk build up initial. Smokey's gonna be fine. Chewy initial. Damon initial. Oh, this is a mess. Okay, another one bites the dust. Wow, these guys are frustrating. Fine. We will. Kill them. And they broke. Oh my god. 
That was frustratingly hard. Okay, you're still left toe destroyed, but no major damage. Damon, uh, right hand, no, no major damage, no major damage, no major damage. Now these guys, you know what? Just get out of the tox gas. We don't have to worry about Smokey and Stoker getting it, but I think there's no point hanging around it here. We might capture one of the, another one of the Hussars if they go down. I would like to get some of their, their genetics. We already have one Hussar, but two would speed that up a bit. We cleaned up most of the mess. All the corpses are in our corpse pile over here. I should toss a Molotov in there at some point. I'll get a, a Bloodluster to do it. But we've got ourselves another Masterwork Assault Rifle. It's now on Damon, so that means three of our people are... are one, two, and three are all rocking assault rifles or masterworks. We've got two more inbound, but more importantly, Cadiz has a growth moment. And Cadiz has maxed out their learning for growth tier eight. This means they're going to be a ten-year-old with lots of skills. I'm curious to see what's available. Kind, ugh, wimp, annoying voice, jealous, fast walker, and too smart. Uh, oh. Well, the plan was to make them our cook, so we kind of have to go that way. And, well, looking down at these traits... This is pretty annoying. Wimp, annoying voice, and jealous are all just straight up bad. Um, too smart is basically a global learning factor of plus 75%, which is huge. But it comes with a mental break threshold increase of 12% as well, which means they just break easier. I don't... Uh, I don't really want that, which leaves us only two options. Kind or fast walker. And normally fast walker would just be a straight up benefit, and kind has pluses and minuses. But I think kind in this instance we want to go with because this is a bloodlust pawn. They're more likely to start social fights, but Kind should help counteract that a bit and make them less likely to get into fights. Which is kind of good for a kid that's already lost a leg due to social fighting. I think we stick them with Kind. Uh, the fast walker would be a nice benefit, but it's not really going to be huge. Plus, you might get an even faster walker next round. Cadiz has been really unlucky on the rolling. They've got Bloodlust as their first trait. I think the other option was probably oh, Super Immune. Like, that Bloodlust and Super Immune were the only two realistic options in the first one. And the second one, the only three options they've got are Kind, Fast Walker, and Too Smart. I think I'm just going to have to go to Kind. And when I was coming to all these traits, I was going to double down on shooting and melee and get them burning passions, but then I thought, why? I mean, we don't really need to. Having one star in shooting and melee is usually more than sufficient. They'll level up a bit slower, but I don't really care. I say we spread them out a bit and get them, say, some decent medical and say like their, say like their old man will get them some plants as well. Uh, that seems like, okay, we're spreading them out all over the place, but realistically, lots of passions means we can, we can specialize them more as needs be. And plus, I've been realizing that with uh, the genes you can splice on later, like, you can get a gene that increases their shooting, shooting by eight and gives them a plus one uh, passion. So, yeah, not really that worried. We can gene modify them later to make them even tastier at any things they want to do. Now, what's your... What you at? Your next level, your next growth tier will be at age 13, at which point they're effectively a full-grown adult. At that point, we don't have to... They actually become a productive member of the colony then. For now, all they're doing is cloud watching, drawing, all of that childish stuff. But once they hit 13, then they get to, like, start fighting on the front line. They'll be on the front line with everyone else. We might age them up from 13 to 16 in the pods, because I'm not sure about uh, what their hit points look like. Their hit points when they're 13 years of age might not be the same as a 16-year-old, so we'll have to find out. Oh, and uh, we're doing a quick soft, sub-core soft scanner to try and get another core. We want to basically just hit a few scythers to help us out. And currently, that tunneler just sits over here, and they're not as fast as, say, a pawn would be. But, oh my god, they just don't stop. Morning, new night, they are just out there doing work. These things are incredible. This thing's gonna mine out all the steel in no time. We're already up to 1,500 steel on the map. Our little carrying bots are not gonna be able to keep up with that. And mortars. Excellent. I'm thinking these are gonna come in handy. We should probably knock out prosthetics while we're down here. Okay, damn it, let me think. Yeah, you know what? We'll knock out prosthetics while we're here. We don't need them just yet, but it does unlock... Where is it? Bionic replacements. So we're going to need that for bionic replacements later. I also want to knock out death rest, but it's going to be a while before we're going to be, be able to build those. Uh, reason being, I want to finish off proofing our base from toxic fallout and cold snaps. So I'm thinking we're going to have to finish off all the solder down here. We should be bringing back enough components with this current trade run. I have uh, Smokey off on a trade run to over here. This place has refreshed. In fact, if any of the others refreshed, it would be nice to know. That's the thing, you're kind of looking around for places that have restocked, and it's like, wait, have I really been visiting all those places that much? And yes, yes we have. Masterwork wolfskin pants. Well, yeah, whatever. Oh, caravan has arrived. All right, what do you got for us? Um, let's see. Please have something decent. A doomsday would be... Oh, prestige cataphract. No, I'm not here to buy that stuff. And we've got so many shock lances and insanity lances now, I'm beginning to feel like I might have went a bit too far. Uh, not really. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. This, this is the good one. We have been looking for one of these. Like this is a normal gene pack, uh, gene pack fireproof, and it gives you fire resistance. You know, total complexity, blah blah blah, metabolic efficiency. This special little picture here. This means it's one of the uh, the archite techs, as in one of the ones that requires you to have an archite capsule to even use it. It's got the gene implanter. Um, total complexity plus three. Archite capsules one. Uh, all right, gene implanter. It's this Yoki Bob here. This allows you to implant the genes you have into someone else. It's like the, the vampire kiss thing that turns everyone into a vampire. But you can put that onto your own custom gene packs. We have to buy this. These are incredibly rare to find these ones. Now we just need to build the storage containers for those. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, we can do that. We can, we can do that. We need to get that home immediately, though. That needs to be brought back home instantly and... Yeah, it's five days before that degrades, so I don't know if it degrades when you're caravanning. Hmm. Do have anything here we need to drop? Nope, nope. Right, we're going to bring that home. Uh, I need, I think up here is where I'm going to put in the, the gene bank. Or down here, no. I think up here is probably best. Yeah, in here we're going to put in our little gene bank. It costs 50 steel and one component to make a gene bank. This is sort of like a refrigeration unit for the genes. If the genes aren't stored in a gene bank, they will start to degrade. And after five days, I believe you lose them. Well, depending on, I assume that's five days indoors. I assume outdoors, it's probably worse. It also requires power, 40 watts. So they're pretty cheap, but you can only store four genes in each bank or four gene packs. Uh, a pack might be have two or three genes in it or just one, depending. So we're going to need to start building a bunch of these to start storing the genes we would like to keep. Uh, caravan arrived. Okay. I'm kind of curious to see here. If we check under gear, is it already starting to degrade? Doesn't look like it. 100 of 100. Okay, then. Well, we're just going to store those genes for later, and why have we not got any wood? Shouldn't you planter guys be out harvesting wood for me? Oh, you're too busy doing our crops. Right now our crops have come in, and um, I may need to actually sell off some of our food. I may have went a little bit overboard. Uh, yeah, oops. Well, the genes are safely stored, so there's the gene pack stored in there. You can actually see the contents. We, we need to build other stuff to actually utilize it under biotech. We would need to put down, where is it? a gene assembler, and a gene extractor to extract more genes from other people. There, there's other things you would need to do, but we are not going to be bothered with that just yet. For now, what I want to do is I want to finish off our this, this section here. I want to make this thing proof from cold snaps and toxic fallout so our food supply is solid and we never have to worry about it again. Uh, we actually have lots of food right now, but if I don't do this now, I will forget about it and then it will come bite me later. So, we are going to need about a thousand steel and about 30 components to do this. Uh, yeah, so two more solar panels there will allow us to put down one more light, uh, probably in that cornfield right there. And then we're going to need another two, four, six, eight more solar panels as well to go on top of that. Prosthetics, all done. Let's go grab the next. Yeah, we'll go with death rest. Why not knock that out of the way? Uh, right now, I'm still trying to finish off this solar. Come on, people. Also, before we can get that done, it seems like Smokey's ready for their next linking ritual, uh, which is fine. We're going to have to take everyone out to help out. Expected quality, 70%. That's because we have no extra people to take part in this. Uh, Smokey's already at level 4, so this is put them up to level 5. I think we can start giving them skip at that point. But, yeah, they've been doing pretty nicely for themselves. All right, Randy, be lucky for me today. What are you going to give me? You're going to give me Berserk. Uh, okay, I can I can go with Berserk. That's not so bad. Ooh, excellent assault rifle. Ah, uh, Ryan, you probably could have done something better than that, but it's okay, we'll give it to one of the kids. Our tunneler has came home victorious. They, um, they mined it all out. It's just they're so much more efficient than pawns at doing things far away. Uh, I think we'll probably mine out all the compacted machinery as well. Why not? Uh, mine connected ores. In fact, let's see. Where's all of the ones on the map? We're going to get you to do everything all in one fell swoop. Why the hell not? Mine connected ores. And one last one over here. Mine connected ores. Though we might want to give you a little bit of a way in. That should keep them busy for the foreseeable future. Well, probably about like a week. Uh, exotic good traders. Excellent. I don't think we have much money to buy anything, but if they've got any... Ageless? Well, yes. Yes, I would like ageless. What else is mixed in there with this thing, though? It gives... Agelessness an intense UV sensitivity. Well, that's a little bit of a dull-edged sword, isn't it? That's the thing about a lot of these uh, specialist gene packs. They come with two things built into them, so you get one, but... Uh... Let me see some things here. After humming and hawing about this, I decided not to get the Ageless Gene. Uh, the reason being, it's not really that good. We'll go over it in a minute, but instead I got uh, the Gene Pack for Awful Construction. Uh, that just basically is a straight-up negative to your pawn, but it can be used to counteract other positives. And I grabbed Specialized Limbs while we were here. 
namely because specialized limbs gives us access to power claw well drill arms drill arms are actually rather useful anyway uh, bring those inside and we're going to want to apply those tech prints as soon as possible um eh, who do we give this to everyone's intellectual though is so high like Smokey and ryan are both maxed out at 20 and where is it damon is also maxed out at 20 and they're like they don't even have any bonuses to it from their genetics. That's just they have a flat 20. Say so Smokey here, the real level is actually 17, but they're getting a plus 4 from their uh, their genetics. Hmm. But yeah, I think we'll get uh, Damon to apply that. Apply that tech print there. I wonder if we can actually max out their uh, their experience at 30,000 points. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay, so 2022... 29,999 is as high as it goes. Got it. All right. That works out. And yeah, that little bot there should be bringing that over to our gene bank for storage. Excellent. Now we have two genes in there. In fact, I might start ripping out genes. Nope, nope. We are going to finish this off. Lunk is going to finish in this solar. Uh, we are going to get a sun lamp right there. We're probably going to need to... The full leadership. I mean, we're probably going to need to get a wire out close enough to that so that it can work, but a wire to there should be sufficient. And we're going to have to deal with this defoliator leadership. Are there any kids nearby? Please. No, nope, kids are all over there. Is there anyone local? I don't think even our bot is... Our bot's not out here mining. Excellent. But there are these. Nope. No one's coming out to get those anytime soon. Our bot is actually way over here. The tunneler. Whew, we got to give that tunneler a name, though. I don't think we're going to be keeping it. Ooh, 49 milters. That's interesting. They have tiny range. Their movement speed is 3.80. Ah, they're not even that tough. Well, we're going to go ahead and take care of that quickly before, like, I have learned from the past. This can mess with your child's education. We, like, let things like that lie. We might end up trapped inside or something, and it might in impinge on their education, and they miss out on a, a, a growth moment. So no, that is not happening this time. Katie's what age are you? In fact, let's see if any of them are coming up on a, a birthday that's uh, important. No, eight, eight, eight. Muppets coming up on five. No, none of your, no, no, Grant. All right, let's get a team together and go smash those. I swear, I was getting everyone together. I was getting them all ready to go over here. And another raid happened. Uh, they're dropping right on top of us. And where are they from? The core bug family? Where's the core bug family? Uh, I need to figure out what we're facing here before they even impact. If they're going to be close combaters, or are they like... They're some kind of gas-based ones, this is going to get really nasty. Uh, looking around, I can't figure out which faction they're from, but what I can see is they seem to be landing in here. I'm pulling back the kids to this section. Uh, yeah, they're all getting summoned up. They look adorable in their little bicycle helmets and, and assault rifles, but... Yeah, we're not getting them involved in combat. One shot could end them. That's too risky. We've invested too much time in them. Uh, everyone else is coming back this direction, and Nana is getting out of there, and I left the bots there. Uh, the mechs are going to get put in Area 3 as well. We might lose the agri-mech. Yeah, I don't really see a way around that, if, especially if they're landing in there. Now, let's start this real slowly and see where they're going. If some of them come through the roof, we could be in trouble. Yep, two of them landed in there. Or did they? Oh, they got shunted over there and there. Right, Lunk, where are you, buddy? Why don't you go over and say hello to that one? Uh, everyone else, we're going to want you to give a real, real warm welcome to whoever pops out of that pod. Uh, okay, Cougar's on his way through. The coo well, the animals are going over there with the kids. I am not risking the kids, if at all possible. Leave that door open for now. We're going to leave that door closed, maybe. Or, you know, they're probably going to come through that one. It's fine. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, it's the Yatkins one, is it? Or the, the Yeti-type ones. They've got strong melee. We need to stay out of melee range with them, if at all possible. They brought wild boars with them? Okay, I just got to give them an A for style points. Anyone who drops out of the sky bringing wild boars with them? That is just... Yep. That is pretty legendary. Eh. Uh, that's one down. Perfect. You, close that door. I'm going to cut down on their vectors of ingress. Right, they're probably going to start fires out there. As long as they don't damage the Devil Strand. Devil Strand's all I'm really worried about. Now, you guys, if you stretch out along there, you actually get some cover. And uh, Lunk, I want you to get over here, buddy. Oh, damn it. I thought that guy was dead. Okay, done. 
Dunk. Go here, quick. The hell is the fire? Yep, yep. Well, kind of to be expected that there were starting fires out there. Oh. They have wargs? Guys, shoot the wargs. Okay, that's fine. Tunneler, we're going to draft you up. Maybe get you there. That, uh... Oh. You, get in there. That guy's trying to get his sniper rifle up and running. That, it... God damn, you vandals! Okay, Stalker, maybe get over here. Yeah. Another one bites the dust. And low shield pack. Oh my god, I never ch even thought to check that they have low shield packs. Uh, checking out the enemies. No, I was the only one with the low shield pack. That is fine by me. In that case, everyone get down here. They've just made our lives so much simpler. And uh, they're fleeing. Well, they're going to smash some doors, but not the end of the world, I suppose. Yeah. And we'll get everyone down here as quickly as you can to get off a few shots at the fleeing ones. Lunk. Is there any left alive? I don't think so. I think... Yeah, none of them actually managed to go down without dying at all. Pity. Um, oh, what's the plan then? Suppose, see if we can't kill a few more, they might have something worth capturing. You know, this this fire is really frustrating. I've, I've ch cut back some roof segments to stop it spreading, but we're still struggling. It's, it's basically incinerated a whole section here. We can't get it down fast enough. However, that's not the worst part. The worst part is several separate groups of mechanoids have arrived in transport pods nearby. Um... Yeah, it seems like Randy was like, hey, you know what? Let's just do everything all at once. I hadn't hit you in ages. Let's just smack you now. Hey, what are we dealing with here? Oh, God. Okay, we've got these new legionnaires. Okay, a bunch of these guys. Some scorchers, some lancers. A yeah, small group, not, not, ooh, it's a much larger group. Five lancers. Oh, my God. Okay, we got to deal with those. But first, we got to stop this fire, which is raging out of control. And we can't even tend people medically. Uh, I think I gotta just remove the roof. I think that's our only hope. If we just remove the roof, then the fire will have nowhere to, well, range to put out the fire. Uh, let me think about this. Oh, finally. Okay, Lunk, I think it's time you went and got medical tent. We're gonna need you in a minute. Oh my god, and you gotta start your death rest soon as well. Uh, go back and get healed up. The rain should take care of most of this. It's a mess. We can fix it later. Once we've dealt with all of this nastiness, I think we're gonna have to go out into the field and take care of some of them. Because that is just too much mess. Dear Lord, Randy, what is it you were like, oh yeah, I'm just going to hit you with, let's see, we're going to throw down one of these, then we're going to throw down a center drop, and then we're going to throw down another mech raid in, what, what was the time frame on that? Yeah, that was pretty close time frame. Uh, 158, yeah, about a day, day and a half. This is why we love Randy so much. And a psychic drone high male, because of course there is. Oh, God damn it, Randy. Ah. Yep, this is just... Well, I suppose it has been too easy recently, so it only makes sense. Okay, we'll put... Actually, we're going to need to put a bulb right about there later. I don't actually put in that light just yet, though, because it would be bad to put that light down before we get the uh, the roof back up. But we're not going to put the roof back up until... Well, we've got dealt with all the damage that's on the map. I think everyone's been patched up, have they? Well, your left arm's pretty badly damaged. No, Chewie, I want you to rest until healed. Then we're going to get Damon to take care of you. Uh, Damon has just been helped, so... Oh, God, prayer testing to them. Then we're going to have to go out and take care of this next mob. I'm thinking... Whew, how many Scythers do they have on the on hand? There's no Scythers there. That's no, no close combat in that group. This group has... Huh. Tesserons, Lancers, but no close combat. Okay, so this is going to be... A shootout. We stay at a distance, we pop two shields, and we murder as many of them as we can. I am not messing about. We're already injured and getting into a long sustained firefight where we take even more damage seems like a bad idea. Where did I put our low shields? We've got two in storage, numbers wise. On our colonists, we've got two others. So we've got four in total. We can burn two and still have some left over. Lunk's got a masterwork shield belt. We can jump them in to help clean up the mess. All right. Let's get everyone ready. Here they come. We didn't really get much of a chance to prepare, unfortunately. Okay. Drinking Psychi tea. Yeah, you know what? You go do that. I'm going to have to get everyone out to start it on the line. The problem is we've got a high psychic drone male. That is not helping all of our pawns. So Lunk's getting unhappy. Chewy, you know what, Chewy? Maybe grab some psychic tea while you're here. Change in plan. I was was going to get... Uh, come back inside. I was going to get the guys to start 
getting ready for this big fight. And then I thought, wait a minute, we have animal pulsers that we haven't been using. So instead, I'm going to get Lunk to repair the door down here. If he can replace that door quickly enough, we activate an animal pulser. And when it's the animal pulser, deal with these. Or at least soften them up. There's a few animals around. No predators, unfortunately. We kind of annihilated all of those. But it's grand. All we got to do is make sure we bring everyone else back inside. Uh, everyone needs to get inside the kids' area. Uh, then we just need to make a few changes here. All right, Lunk. Gonna need you to get on that real quick. Uh, Chewy, you're close by. I've got all the mechs coming back in. Hey, Chris, you want to move it a little bit faster there, buddy? Uh, we're, we're... Time's a little bit of the essence. I think that might be fair enough. Hey, Chris, you in? Right, Lunk still has not built that door. We are going to assume he was going to figure it out. Oh, and the best bit about this is just watching the map turn entirely red. Ah, there we go. Much better. Eh. Now Lunk has arrived. He has finished the door. Everyone is set to be inside. There's no reason for any of our people to be out there. Uh, a few of the animals will hang around here. Like that squirrel was definitely not happy with us. But everyone else. Oh, wow. We'll have to sort out the problems later, but I don't care. This looks like chaos. Ah, excellent. We got attacked by a rat and a turtle. Hmm. Oh, here comes the boom lumps as well. They might accidentally wake up this, but I'm kind of okay with that. Oh, those things set stuff on fire. That is going to be annoying for the animals to deal with. Oh, wow. Uh, deer doing work. Muffalo's inbound. Oh, here comes the deer. Okay, they're definitely going to kill at least a few of them. This should help soften up our problems. Oh my god. Yeah, the swarm. The problem is when the fire starts coming in. And speed is long a bit. Okay, dead. Dead. God. If someone could get uh, close combat that. Oh my god, there's fire starters in there. That's... Oh, the animals are so... Fire does not work well. Animals do not like fire at all. They have no defenses against it. But I would still say this was quite successful. Well, not for the animals, but for us. It definitely cut down on the things we're going to have to face and made our lives easier. There's a uh, dead Lancer. Dead Tesseract. Oh my god, I think a few of them killed each other. Okay then. H how much damage did you get? Oh. All right, there's still a few bits and bobs left around here, especially the boomalups. Let's hope the boomalups give them even more trouble. Uh, all right, we're going to have to have a team ready to go, though. They should attack all the outside stuff first, but the moment they're through all the outside stuff, they're going to come for us, and we need to be ready for that. Well, it's time to get stuck in there. We're about to pop out this door and attack them. Unfortunately, we've also got malaria. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Randy. <laughs> Okay, so we've got three raids in about a day and a half, a high psychic drone male, and a malaria. You are just, you are on fire today, Randy, and so is half the map. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant, Randy. I am, I am just speechless at how good you are at this today. Uh, uh, you two. Let's maybe start some killing here. That's perfect. Uh, go here. Yeah, we're going to need to get everyone some malaria treatment real goddamn soon as well. This is just really unfortunate. However, uh, we're going to have to stay here for a little bit. We have no choice. Come on. I'm going to lure a few of them in. Now, that guy's a scorcher. So we're going to need some stuns. Oh. Open the door. So, I don't want that guy getting off any fire. So, Smokey, you have the stun ability. Mm. Turn off fire at will for you. Okay, then. Let's uh, just skip that guy to right there. That actually was probably the smarter plan. Just skip him right there. Whew. Okay, well, the door's gone now. Uh... Perfect. Uh, another skip, I think. Right there. 
And do we have one more skip in you? Yes, we do. Never mind. Dead, dead, and dead. I don't think we have much left in terms of enemies. Okay, we got a pikeman over here. And uh, we have a scorcher over there. And the rest of it's all coming down this direction to get slaughtered. We do have one skip left if we absolutely need it. Wow, that shield is kind of frustrating. You know what? Yeah, I think it's time we went out there and uh, made friends. You. Attack! Damn it. Uh oh. Lugs on fire. Um. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Chewy. Stalker. Smokey, you actually can do some good stuff. Okay, Smokey. No, damn it. This is really frustrating. Uh, they're all sort of trapped in there and they can't really do much because, well, it, Smokey's going to get over that side. The rest of you can all go this direction. Okay, focus fire, focus fire. That one's got to go down. Uh, Smokey. Skip. To there. What the hell? Uh-oh. Right. So Lunk's now on fire. Uh, and I need to remember that as an on fire person, they also have... Oh, God damn it! Go here. Uh, tend Lunk. They can't tend to lunk. Um, maybe we can get the kids to help out. Can the kids put out fires? I, I don't know. No, the kids can't fight fires, can they? At least, oh no, the kids can. Well, just very low priority. You two, get down here, quick, immediately. Your job is to save lunk. Uh, and you, get behind that tree. And Chewbacca's on fire now. Oh, wow. Uh, I think I have discovered a new high priority target. That guy. Holy Christ, that's annoying. Right! Uh, go here, quick, 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 quick. Okay, Lunk's not on fire anymore. Oh my god, that was monstrous! Um, okay, Lunk, you're not good at medicine, but we need to get Damon back inside, because damon has got to tend to the kids before the malaria starts killing everyone. Like, a whole bunch of people have malaria right now. Um, I need to leave you a small team behind to take care of a Scorcher and... There's a Pikeman, I think. Okay, that's attacking a marble wall. Well, I think I know what comes first. Uh, yeah, that what we're going to do is we're going to bring everyone back inside. We're going to get Damon to start tending all five of the kids who have malaria. Also, damon has got it, and so does Stalker, so I think Chewie can tend them. Uh, we're going to have to dispatch... I think Lunk's going to take care of that Pikeman, and then we're going to have... One other pawn take care of the Scorcher at range. Where was the least injured ranged person? God. And, just to add to the beauty of this, drugs. All of our drugs are going to go up in smoke. I can't even save them. I don't have the time or capacity because everyone's going to be recovering from malaria. Also, Kauger, the one who suffered the most from the growth tier issues, yeah, their learning is at 89%. Normally they wait until they're 90% before they go do some learning, like floor drawing or something. Because they're sick. They're not going to get a chance to do that. This is going to hurt their learning more than all the other pawns. I think uh, Lindsay's on 97, Muppet's 92, uh, Paper Sill's 92, and Katie's is 93. So we're going to need to get those kids back up and running and playing as quickly as possible so that they can get their learning on. Oh my god, this is such a mess. Lessons learned. These things, these Tesla Rons, whatever, these fire-starting laser beam guys, high priority targets low hit points they set people on fire they need to be stopped and stopped quickly there's just no other way about it i'm putting them as a high priority than pikemen maybe oh probably not high priority than the lancers maybe i'm gonna have to think about that one because lancers can one shot you but tesla rounds could cause people to run all over the place and lose covering oh okay this is a messy defense could have been better but yeah valuable lessons learned if you had taken that one out first that tesla run this would have been so much simpler and lunk wouldn't be running around on fire Oh, which reminds me, Lunks needs some healing. Anyway, no, 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 no. We are going to cut this out here. Hopefully Randy doesn't have any other chaos in store for me while I try and clean up this mess. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and good luck. <laughs>